Hi, I'm Sai, and welcome to a quick update video, art fight video, whatever you want to call this. <laughs> so basically, I have been participating in an art fight. If you don't know what art fight is, it's been explained pretty well in other people's videos, if I'm honest. I'll link a few. Uh, but essentially, it is a, an event every July where you get to draw fan art of other people's characters and sometimes they draw out of yours, which is pretty cool. And I know that this year has been racked with controversy and TikTok. I'm not talking about that. That's not really what I'm here for. I don't use TikTok anyway. So I'll link you another video about all that. But I just wanted to jump in and talk about my pieces a little bit that I've done this year and sort of what my experience has been as a first year art fight person because I'm having a lot of fun and I wanted to talk about it. And I was going to just make a video at the end of the month, but then I thought it wouldn't be any fun if I made the video after the event is over and nobody could join. So there probably will be a follow-up video at the end of the month. But this one, I just wanted to go over some of the pieces I've made that I'm particularly proud of and talk about my experience a little bit. So we all know that Art Fight really begins when you start working on character refs. And it was no different for me, but I did not start my refs a week before Art Fight. I did not start my refs a day before Art Fight. I started my refs on the 2nd of July because I wasn't even sure I was going to participate in Art Fight. I had never done it before and it seemed kind of scary and I wasn't really happy with my art at the time, so I kind of figured that I would just observe it, maybe be a spectator, and just see what all this art fight stuff was about before participating. But I worked on a character sheet in the meantime because I wanted to redesign one of my characters anyway and I hadn't made a sheet for her ever. So I worked on this. This is my sheet for Jester. She is my alien clown girl. I love her very much. If you want to draw her, art fight linked below. <laughs> but I got this sheet together by the 5th. It took me a few days because I was pretty slow at art at the time. And as a baseline for the beginning of my art fight journey, it's alright. I like it quite a lot. I was using the Dreamy Sketch Brush, which I found from a uh, this name on screen, from their videos, <laughs> and I was really enjoying it, so I was using it for all of my art at the time, essentially, and the only thing I really didn't like was the costume and, like, the body. I just wasn't super happy with that drawing, but, you know, it was serviceable. That's all it needed to be. I'll probably revise it later. It's fine. I wanted to start, so I signed up got randomly selected to be on Team Stardust, and began my art fight journey. Now, I went into art fight with the mindset that I probably wouldn't get any attacks because I didn't want to disappoint myself by getting all hyped up, so I decided I was really more doing art fight to experiment and have fun and draw other people's OCs. And that's what I did. What you are seeing on screen is the very first attack I did. Accidentally friendly fire. I did not look at whose team they were before drawing them. For all of these, I will have the character name and creator on screen so that if you want to draw them, you can go ahead. But this was just an alright piece. I'm not particularly happy with it. I wasn't particularly happy with it then, but I didn't hate it either. It was just okay, and I was okay with that. Skipping forward, I did my first attack with 3D because I also wanted to practice my 3D skills since that was allowed in Art Fight. And I will be honest, I was in love with it when I made it. Now, because I've made better 3D things since, it's just okay to me. But the idea of making it, this little video game character scene, I think was still really cute and I'm really happy with the fact that I did that. Next, we have this big, I won't say giant, I was gonna say giant, and then I realized how large mass attacks can be. <laughs> but this was my first mass attack, and it was pretty big for me. It took me a while. There are 15 characters here, 
I will list them on screen. You'll probably see it go by as like a roll or something so that I can get them all on there. But this piece, I was really happy with. This is the first one I genuinely was super proud of myself for. And at this point I was hooked. I did five pieces in the first day, which was a lot for me, especially considering I was using 3D, which is something I don't have a whole lot of experience in as well. Speaking of which, I also want to highlight this piece, which is possibly my favorite 3D piece. It's probably the last 3D piece I'll show in this video because I just, I love him. Man, I love the character too. I really loved the character, which is a theme with a lot of my best pieces, but uh, he turned out so good. Skipping ahead a little bit, we have this piece, which I was mostly just proud of the hands because I'm not very good at those like most people and they turned out really good. So I was just really proud of this one. That's all I had to say about it. Now we're getting to my more recent pieces. I say this as if these are all in the last month, but this piece was of my girlfriend's characters, who she finally got up on our fight even later than I did. And I love them very much. Their names are Lily and Chelsea, and I love them. The only reason I name them is because they're the only ones whose names I remember. These last pieces were when I started really experimenting with how I render. I found a new brush and a new method and just absolutely fell in love. So this was the first one where I tried this new technique and I feel like I learned a lot about portraying subsurface scattering, specifically on the hair and the glasses, and I think the colors came out really good. The second piece I actually animated which was pretty cool, because I hadn't done much for animated pieces in this. And I also rendered her, which was crazy, doing both at the same time. And finally, we get to my most recent piece. I'm currently debating how I feel about it. I drew it maybe an hour ago, so I don't really know. But I think I'm really proud of it. I think she turned out really good. And I had never drawn a guitar before, and I think that turned out well. And yeah, I loved the colors, I loved the character, I put so much time into this. I think I put just as long or longer into this drawing as I did for the mass attack, which is just crazy. But yeah, I have really, really enjoyed Art Fight. It has been so much fun, I've improved my art so much. And the people who I've interacted with have all been really kind and really patient, <laughs> if I'm honest. And I just wanted to make this video to say if you have thought about participating in Art Fight and didn't do it, I know we're already over halfway through the month, but I believe in you. It's not over until it's over. You should join Art Fight. And that was really all I had to say. So. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye!